Welcome to Darwin, guys. We've had a couple of weeks off uh, over the Christmas period. We have. We're here ready with a new series coming from the Northern Territory, and we are starting off here in Darwin. We took a four or five to Sydney and got an Uber to a hotel, and if you're wondering where we're staying, we're staying in the Argus Hotel, which is pretty much right in the centre. We're staying in the standard king-size room, and it is probably the comfiest bed that we've slept in for I don't even know how long. It's got a bit of a kitchen area, and it also comes with a bath, which... I have thoroughly enjoyed. <laughs> it also has a small pool area and a little bit of a fitness center, but the best part is it comes with free continental breakfast, which is super handy just to fill us up before we head out for the day of exploring. We filmed all our videos so far on this little GoPro here, and we thought it was definitely time to upgrade, so we've bought a new camera. So we've gone and bought the Canon M50 Mark II. It's a mirrorless camera with detachable lenses, obviously, and we will change it back to that. Now, we also wanted to be able to show what was around us while we were filming, so we've gone and picked up a wide angle lens. We've gone for the 11 to 22 milliliter lens, and we'll show you what this is like now. So hopefully you can see way more sort of around us on this wide angle lens, which will be really cool because we can show you the places that we go to more. You'll be able to see what's around us when we're filming, basically. But you can pretty much see the whole room now, whereas just a minute ago on the other lines, you could literally just see us. But it might take us a couple of videos to get used to filming on our camera rather than the GoPro because it was so easy on the GoPro. Yeah. So just bear with us. Yeah. Anyway, we have got a balcony. We didn't mention about the balcony. This is the view that we've got. I hope it doesn't steam up. Are we steamed up? We're not steamed up yet. Oh, we are. I can see it steaming up here. The reason it is so steamed up is because it is 90% humidity here in Darwin. The weather is absolutely boiling and also not exactly great. It is currently wet season here in Darwin. This is the view that we've got. It has been raining non-stop since we got here. Well, it's been raining on and off since we got here, but it comes down heavy when it comes down. down at the Darwin waterfront. Now there's so much to do down here. I've just spotted in the wave lagoon that the wave machine is turned on. So we're gonna head over there, check that out oh, first. Okay, the wave pool has just stopped, but look how cool this is. It's like a full on man-made sort of beach area, I guess, with a wave pool right there. And you can get rubber rings and stuff. We haven't brought our swimming costume today, but it is only $8 for an entry fee, which is a pretty good price considering you're not even allowed to swim in the sea here in Darwin. Yeah, you can swim in the sea, but I think it's not recommended because of the saltwater crocodiles that are around. Yeah. It just looks so cool that they put this like man-made recreational ground. And I love how they've got the palm trees in the background there as well. It gives us such a tropical feel. Talking of a tropical feeling, because we're so far north and it's really humid, we're above the tropical Capricorn, it just feels like we're in Southeast Asia. I mean, Bali's like a two hour flight from here. Yeah, so it's not far at all. And it is really similar because we had quite a lot of rain in Southeast Asia too, but it's still really weird being in the rain, but it also being really hot. How cool does this inflatable obstacle course look? It's absolutely huge. And around here, you've got an actual man-made beach with sand and even a beach volleyball set. But there's loads of like sun loungers down there as well. We knew there was crocodiles in Australia, but we didn't realize there was actually 100 to 200,000 of them in the wild. And most of them are up here in the north. One of the most popular things to do here in Darwin is a place called Crocosaurus Cove, which allows you to get up close and personal with the saltwater crocodile in a really safe environment. You got to see them straight away. You can just see the end of that tail, Anna. I think you can see them more from upstairs, maybe. Yeah, probably, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, literally just walked in, and you can see the whole idea. They haven't kept us waiting. Whoa! Oh my god! I wish I was taller than that. Are you taller than that? It's like Whoa. the same size as my hand, if you look. That's insane! Oh my god, <laughs> This is so cool! What a teeth! Look 
chunky their legs are as well. His tail literally makes him look like a back of a dinosaur. Like the, it does. The... <laughs> it's mad that they can just float. Like he's not moving. What's mad is that they're in the wild everywhere. Like. Yeah, imagine coming across one of them literally like in the wild. <laughs> It's weird being this close. Like I've just now realised like how close we are to Yeah, like even on this glass we are still like really, really close. Guys, if you think you recognise this crocodile here, it's actually the crocodile of Crocodile Dundee. This crocodile, his name is Bert and he's 90 years old. 95. 95! 95 years old. He was captured in like the 80s and that's when they filmed the crocodile movie, Crocodile Dundee. And he's in the original one, and now he's just here, chilling, in Darwin. It's great, that's awesome. We were wondering what a snake skin felt like. <laughs> <laughs> that's mean. <laughs> Oh my god, it feels like bubble wrap. Like bubble wrap that you've already popped. Oh no, you're gonna scare me. Oh no. Oh, it does. It's okay, guys, we're gonna meet a baby crocodile. Oh my gosh. He's so small. He's not quite a year. Does he have a name? Lula. Lula. Can I touch it? Of course you can. Under his belly. Oh wow! It feels so different yeah. underneath compared to the top. Oh yeah, it feels well smooth. Yeah. yeah. And then that's really rough. Yes, underneath that's expensive leather under there. That's wow. I didn't realise they had webbed feet. No, Only on no, the back, the yeah. Oh right. Yeah. The front Is that what helps like him swim? Yeah. Ah, that's so cool. That is cool. Would you like to meet his big brother? Oh, he's not even small. He didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> he likes that. <laughs> <laughs> nice scratch on the head, he can't reach that bit himself. Oh yeah, he's a lot bigger. Wow! How old is this one? Oh. Three, nearly three. The males keep growing their entire life. Right. Ah, um, wow. It will take him 60 years to get to five, five metres, five, five and a half metres, because they can live to be 120. 120? I did not know that. I didn't know that either. Oh, his skin feels a lot like looser almost. The Lulas? Yeah. Another activity you can do here in Crocosaurus Cove is called the Cage of Death, which is what's happening right down here. So they sleep on this big cave and they put you down into a pool with the crocodiles and then they feed them, like they're doing now. This and is then, insane. Look uh, how big that crocodile looks next to the cage. <laughs> You'll see him biting it now. What? Oh. Oh. oh my goodness. We've come to the gift shop. Look at these. <laughs> that looks so cool. It's got a tail sticking out of it. I wish they came in adult sizes. I know. <laughs> G'day, mate. Crocodile Dundee here. Crikey. You've come down to the Botanical Gardens, which is another thing that was highly recommended to do in Darwin, and it's actually free. It's supposed to have loads of different tropical plants, as you can see in front of us. We had a look at the map on the way in, and there's a bunch of different sections. There's apparently even a waterfall, so considering the amount of rain we've had, I've got high hopes for a good waterfall. And I said there was a crocodile on the map, so hopefully we can see a crocodile. I feel like I shouldn't be going through here, but it does say please close the gate behind you, so... It's a very big gate. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there's that. Why is it back green? That's got to be poisonous, right? We thought it was going to be a real crocodile, turns out it was a sculpture. Not that scary at all. <laughs> We're in the rainforest section now, and if it wasn't for this path beneath us, you could feel like you're in the jungle. It's insane. Guys, we've come down to Mindel Beach. It is extremely windy. I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know what the sound's going to be like. There's like no one around. It's the middle of Saturday. Obviously, it is wet season, but yeah, I was expecting at least a few people. Yeah, I mean, and 
we got really excited because there's blue skies and the sun has come out and now we come to the actual beach and the wind is crazy. The tide is so far out for us. The sky is insane. I hope the camera does it justice, which probably doesn't. Look at the orange, well, it looks orange in real life. It's more of yellow on the camera. Yeah, but it's like orangey pink. Almost. The sky looks so cool. Yeah. 